This is how the day ended. But let's get back to the beginning. As the Hungarian saying goes, let's get the work done first and after we can have fun. My life in Hong Kong was very simple. After waking up, I did a few personal things, then met my Sifu, Grandmaster Yip Chi Kang. We had a training together, went out for tea and some snacks, yam cha as they call it, then went back and had another training session and had later a dinner together. Finally I got back to the hotel and went to bed. Simple life, we did this every day while I was there. When people here I have been practicing with the Grandmaster, they surely have something on their mind, like how this would look. Kung Fu is still surrounded by mysticism and people might have interesting ideas how this would look like. These ideas are mostly influenced by movies, of course in case of those who do not have any experience. For example, it might be like in the Drunken Master with crazy torturing exercises. Or a slightly similar one with also a cruel master but a sober one, like in Kill Bill. Or maybe a bit more realistic version from my favorite movie, The Invincible Shaolin. All these movies are sharing the same concept of training, that being very strange, with different tools, crazy exercises, visually interesting, blood sweating and cruel. And mostly the master is just watching and making the life of the student miserable. But how this relates to real life? What is similar and what is fiction, at least in my case. Let's see. In a traditional system, teachings are passed from the master to the student by physical contact. That means my Sifu wasn't just watching, he was training with me. So he shared the hard work with me and made my life as a student more miserable by giving me a hard time, but also made me feel things. So teaching me in this way. No strange tools though, but blood sweating and sometimes you might feel it a cruel way during practice. Everything comes at a cost. Whether the exercises are strange or visually interesting, that comes down to a personal taste, a personal preference. One thing is sure, the training is hard. I always had a feeling that we deserve the yam cha and the good dinner.